The Fortune Change the World list is our second annual ranking of companies that are doing well by doing good. They make their revenue and they make their profits in ways that are also good for the planet and good for their communities. Fortune's Change the World list consists actually of two lists. One involves 50 companies that are large and have had a positive social impact. Our second list consists of seven companies. These are companies that are smaller, or they're often startups, but they have some very promising technology that we think could eventually make them a multi-billion dollar company while at the same time serving a positive social purpose. We broke our, our judging into three buckets. What is the innovation? How big is the business impact, by which we mean how important are their good works to their own bottom line. In the social impact, you know, what's it actually doing? What problem is it solving? The number one company on our list, for example, GlaxoSmithKline or GSK, has made it part of their mission to reach the six billion or so people around the planet that don't have good access to medicines. In 150 markets, 95 or so of which are in developing countries, and they have very, very modest profit margins on them. And then about a fifth of that money they reinvest in local healthcare systems. People may be surprised that Coke and Pepsi are on our list. You think of them as companies that are maybe contributing to the country's obesity crisis. Well, Coca-Cola done this initiative that is basically designed to train female entrepreneurs all across the globe to be shopkeepers, to be restaurant owners, to run farms that provide supplies for Coca-Cola. Pepsi, for nearly a decade now, have committed to transforming their business to one that's focused on healthier foods. The Fortune Change the World list has a bunch of different industries represented on it. You have pharmaceutical companies, big makers of industrial equipment, food companies, high technology companies right out of Silicon Valley. We've got banks. We've got several companies in the financial sector. One of my favorite companies is an Australian bank. NAB, as they're known, decided that what they wanted to do is go find these people who are falling behind on their loans and say, how can we help you? And when they did this, what they found was actually the rate at which their loans got repaid went up. What's important to realize about this list, we're not trying to make a judgment as to whether that company is morally good or bad. What we're doing is zeroing in on one part of their business where they're able to affect a social change or solve a problem that affects the world while it's core to their business model. And that's what makes it sustainable and we hope scalable.